coming in on the the watch point. Hmm. Sir, take that one. Okay. Okay. So do it like this. Just, just watch first. Mm -hmm. No, no, just watch. I do three drops in the palm, and then we we'll say mantra in case you are not. We we'll sip it, mm -hmm. and with another drop to the side. Then again, three drops. One, two, three. Say so mantra, sip it, and then to the side. Okay. So let's start. Go ahead. Om Kishore Maha. And then Om Narayana Maha. And mantra. You should do it okay. Uh, to uh, 
on fire sacrifice, the lack of the capacity of uh, Guru, because uh, the power of the holy name is, uh, is unlimited. And in this case, uh, birth uh, or what's cast uh, has no significance. Uh, the significance is the uh, purity of a devotee's charity. So, they um, just do this little fire sacrifice, uh, although we have no initiation, but we have no fire sacrifice. We'll have to come at some later time. But uh, in, in our Gaudiya tradition, or rather in the Bhagavata tradition, uh, the uh, important thing actually uh, in terms of initiation uh, is the uh, presence of a uh, Bhagavat devotee who uh, acts just like fire. Uh, Krishna is also uh, burns up, he is like a unlimited fire that can burn up anything. He burn up, burn up the, well, he burns up the whole universe at the end, end of creation. Uh, then uh, Anantadev, uh, at the bottom of the universe, uh, very angry at the atheistic nature of the people who are around at that time. Uh, he scorches all the planets and burns the planets and the universe itself into a crisp loss. And then again, uh, Mahavishnu creates such potential siege, potential universes, and Bhutra, Bhutra, Pramiti, and he keeps going on like that. It's a repeated uh, event. Um, I've known the mission for about five years, and uh, although she was in uh, Dubai, she spent a lot of time traveling. He spends a lot of time on planes, uh, accompanied other people who were traveling. And uh, we've had uh, an ongoing uh, relationship, either personally here or in Mayapur or online. And it's uh, that uh, association that uh, develops faith. Uh, the Adosha, uh, one has to have faith, uh, quality faith. Uh, your quality faith that's backed with knowledge. Uh, everything, all activities begin with faith. Without faith, no one no one does anything. Uh, we have faith when we go to sleep at night that we're going to get up in the morning. If you thought you weren't, you wouldn't do it. So that's faith. Everything is faith. So we're going to have a feast. Everybody has faith that it's not being poisoned. That's we don't even think about it, uh, but there are many yeah. implicit things that are there and that are present. Just speaking, can you it? <laughs> but uh, it's okay. Uh, that, uh, well, speaking English. <laughs> okay. There are many things that are uh, implicit uh, in all of our activities uh, and faith is the inaugurator 
is very dynamic. Uh, but uh, faith should have quality. Uh, this quality of transcendental knowledge. If one has transcendental knowledge uh, and one is, uh, at least understands the basics of the activity which one is about to perform, the reason for it, the result of it, the commitment that comes along with it, and everything, then that faith is quality faith. It may be my faith, but it's still quality. And on the other hand, if one is not aware of all of those things, uh, then it is quality, it is my faith that has no real uh, knowledge behind it and it lacks quality. So it's a uh, very fortunate thing that we come in contact with Krishna consciousness uh, because Krishna consciousness is the absolute truth. Uh, yesterday I was speaking to a group of devotees just in the conference hall. Uh, absolute truth means that there are many opinions in the world that we did live in. There are many gurus and swamis and priests and uh, rabbis and so many, but uh, they have no actual uh, understanding uh, of what, what the, we are as living entities. Uh, what uh, the Supreme Lord uh, or the dreamer of everything is and uh, what our relationship uh, is. And in the absence of that proper knowledge, then actually many, many people are being misled from the path of perfection onto uh, the path that leads in the best case, it leads nowhere. In the worst case, it may end up uh, leading them to a lower birth uh, in their next life. And that's uh, that's Kali Yuga. Dampati, Vidhi, Vedhi, Vedhi, Symptoms of Kali Yuga are there in the uh, fourth canto. Uh, and also in the ninth canto, it's a very good uh, very horrible age where hypocrisy is considered to be the truth and then Prabhupada would cite this verse that if you tell people the truth then they come and beat you with sticks because the truth is not necessarily pleasant uh, So, making our link or connection with uh, the parampara, which means with this Krishna consciousness movement, that is what the initiation is about. Evam parampara pratam imam raja shalomaitu. So, that connection or linking is actually done when Disciples qualified with faith and knowledge, gurus qualified with faith and knowledge, uh, and the commitment is there. Probably see in Srimad Bhagavatam, so many just like Arjuna said, Shishyashtaham Shadimam Tarpapana. So, I, I accept you as my spiritual master and I'm your Shishya. So Krishna didn't say, okay, let's sit down and have a fire yet, but there's no fire sacrifice. There's no fire sacrifice in Shrima Bhagavatam. Mm-hmm. Pritchett Maharaj is waiting, Shukadeva Goswami comes, he accepts him as his guru, 
they would have time, but they don't. What was the essence of uh, that uh, initiation? What was the essence of that initiation? And I was hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam, hearing, hearing the truth as it is, uh, which in the very beginning uh, establishes Krishna's doing by the one soil. Uh, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So that uh, is basically is our uh, effort here uh, with uh, E.K. Shwari and uh, to make a link with our Parampara we see up there it's a part of Prabhupada as far as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, and and then beyond. So for instance we see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, now he's certainly part of the Prabhupada and yet he didn't give anybody diksha. He didn't initiate anybody. Uh, we see uh, for instance uh, there is Baladei Bhutabhusha, he didn't get initiated uh, by Vishwanam Chakravati Thakur, whose initiation was in the mind of Sampradaya from uh, someone else. Uh, similarly, Jagannatha Spavaji, he wasn't Bhakti Narod Thakur's Diksha Guru, or Kishore Spavaji's Diksha Guru, uh, he uh, simply uh, gave uh, transcendental knowledge. So this line of truth is such a rare thing, such a valuable thing, and such a powerful thing. It does everything. It does absolutely everything. Uh, the line of truth that comes originally from Krishna. Uh, and the Prabhupada wanted to emphasize that. For instance, that's why he called Bhagavad Gita as it is. Uh, that it's not Bhagavad Gita according to someone's opinion, but it's Bhagavad Gita as Krishna spoke. So, before we start, we're going to chant one round all together. So, we want to just and I may be very fast and uh, and then um, we can have uh, actually in the meantime you can go and offer obeisances to the Prabhupada, offer obeisances to the uh, Tati Jaguar and then you can have a good